Good day, I am Paris Phillips. And I am Jenna Rissa. And we attend Monument Park High School in the Western Cape. We are part of the YCAP program of 2022. And before I introduce the other two members of our group, I would just like to thank you for choosing us to be part of your program and for considering us to be semi-finalists. It is truly an honor. I would like to introduce our two other members. Good day, my name is Amy Siegel. Good day, my name is Helen Ellis. The topic that we have chosen is mental health. We chose this topic because we feel like it's a big problem in our school environment as well as our community. As we have proven in our presentation and portfolio, we are very passionate about mental health and we are determined to make a change in our school and strive to make the school a safer place mentally. In this video, we will critically evaluate how this program has impacted us as learners of the school and the people around us who suffer from mental health daily. First, we can take action. We set up a questionnaire in each grade and ask them to answer truthfully and honestly. The questionnaires were made anonymous to ensure that learners answer with the most comfort and give us the true challenges that they face with mental health. Secondly, we made a presentation about what mental health is and how we can make a change and what we stand for. With our presentation, we educated and spread awareness about our topic mental health. We explained and provided them information on how to get help from others. We also involved our school psychologists to help learners feel heard and have someone to go to. So Paris, what have you learned from this project and from being part of the YCAP program? Well, Gina, I have learned that many learners in the school suffer from mental health issues. These learners are too afraid to speak up about what they're going through. The issues go around personal problems, their social circle, their academics, as well as household issues. And with what Paris is saying, they don't feel, they feel as though there's no place for them to go to. There's no one to listen to their problems. Or, sadly enough, they feel as though their problems are invalid or not serious enough for them to talk to someone. And that is why we have involved the school psychologist to help them go through this difficult time. And another thing that I've learned was that learners weren't educated enough about this topic. They weren't serious enough and they weren't aware of the seriousness of mental health. They weren't confident enough to speak up about what they were going through. We learned that learners felt more comfortable speaking to their peers because they felt as though their peers could understand what they were going through. But that wasn't the case. Yes, I agree with that. And that is why we took it upon ourselves to use this issue as the topic to spread awareness and to be just like those learners that are suffering with these mental health issues. And with the stats, we have learned that one in three learners suffer from mental health without telling anyone and they deal with it internally. You're putting on a mask, hiding from their struggles that they are dealing with every day and we are so unaware of it and we are all in autopilot thinking that everyone is fine when we know everyone deals with their own things at home especially. And with this project, we also face some challenges within our group, which I would now hand over to Jenna to elaborate on. Yes, that is right. We will face with many challenges, especially emotionally. We have to be in tune with our own emotions and put ourselves in the shoes of those learners who are struggling with mental health. To add on to that, I would also like to say that one of the challenges that we faced was the fact that we had to make ourselves vulnerable to those learners. We had to open up and put ourselves in their shoes to help them overcome those issues. And even though with all these struggles and issues that we had to deal with, we have realized that by working together, we can go through anything. There are many factors that the YCAP Toolkit has helped us with throughout this program. And some of those factors are? Factors like they help us understand first of all what our topic needs to be about what we need to give to the audience and what we need to provide them but also the responsibilities in the groups and what is most suitable for each one of us especially that we all have different personalities actually you know what you know 
I would love to hear Zoe's input on how this why kept talking helped her. That is a great idea. Thank you, Zoe. So, guys, my input on this tool could be that it helped us to identify our strengths and weaknesses as a team. It helped us to work better with one another and deal with our outcome of this presentation. To end up, I would like to once again thank you for considering us to be semi finalists. We are truly honored to part of the program. I also hope that you find this video informative. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye. Bye.